like one of the worst Super Bowls ever, as some people call it. it was like a 93 score or something ridiculous. And then kind of fluttered around there the next season and then got shipped off to Detroit. Been consistently putting up pretty good numbers for Detroit year in and year out. However, last season, the Detroit Lions did draft a quarterback by the name of Hendon Hooker. Kind of kind of took a flyer on him in the third round, was it? I can't, can't remember. They they verif or they they verified they uh drafted Hendon Hooker in basically preparations to take over for Jared Goff. So does Jared Goff got to put up this year, guys, to get that deal, or is he going to shut up and just ride off into the sunset? I think the Detroit Lions have a plan built for Jared Goff. I think the Detroit Lions have a plan built for the quarterback room moving forward, and I do not think it involves Jared Goff. The only way Jared Goff signs maybe a two-year bridge bridge con contract or maybe some type of franchise tag in 2025 is if he takes the Detroit Lions to the Super Bowl. If the Detroit Lions are not in the Super Bowl this season and and the NFL season of 2024, Jared Goff is no longer a Detroit Lion. I don't care if it's $30 million. I don't care if it's $40 million. I don't care if it's $19.9 million. Jared Goff will probably not be a Detroit Lion moving forward unless he takes them to the Super Bowl. Now, I do think Jared Goff is a very serviceable quarterback. I do think Jared Goff still has a lot left in the tank. What the man's only like 33 years old. He probably has at least six, seven more years left in, in him, right? Hendon Hooker's going to be 30 this year. I don't, if, if I'm the Detroit Lions, I don't risk my future on Hendon Hooker. I would love to keep Jared Goff in town, but many people like Luke, Luke, Luke G out there, a Detroit Lions pod, podcast, right? Uh, other shows that I li- listen to, Hear the Lions Roar, uh, Roaring of the Lions, right? There's a bunch of shows that I and, and intertwined with and guest on many, many, many times, and none of them seem to like Jared Goff. And I don't understand why. I think the Detroit Lions should put up for Jared Goff. Led them to the NFC Championship game last season, 4,500 yards passing, 30 touchdowns, just to 12 interceptions. You got $125 million cap, cap space. Yes, Amarad's going to want some money. Yes, Adrian Hutch- Hutchinson's going to want some money. You should probably keep Taylor Decker and Penny Sue as well. Keep that core offensive line t- together. But I, I think the Detroit Lions need to put up, but I think they're going to shut up and they're going to move on from Jared Goff after this season. Brandon says, thank you for verifying. No problem, man. No problem. John Peoples in the side says, good morning. All you old hens crackling about this AM. Talking about the Detroit Lions, man. John says, put up. Go Lions. Lions, he says. James says golf is going to be a jet in 2025 bucket. That would make sense. If the New York Jets, James, do not draft a quarterback in this year's draft, Aaron Rodgers is on the final year of his of his contract. Now he can't opt in for an extra year. I don't think he will. Uh, but I I think he is going to do one last ride with the Jets, and then he is going to go to a team like the Dallas Cowboys or or to a team like potentially like the Miami Dolphins. He is going to go to a team that's ready to win right now. Uh, and I think the Jets might overpay for a quarterback like Jared Goff or overpay for a quarterback like uh, who else did we just talk about? Tua, right? Or overpay for a quarterback like Dak Prescott, Jordan Love. I think the Jets are going to be hot and heavy in this free agent quarterback market in 2025. And money talks. Money talks. So if you are a team like the, the the Detroit Lions or the Green Bay Packers, you better book your guy now because the Jets are going to come come calling 100%. Brandon here, maybe with the comment of the day, already here on this 10, 10 20 in, like in the morning here. He says, Browns and Lions are going to the Super Bowl this year. They're going to the Super Bowl. I, 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 I bet you the Browns don't even win nine games this season. <laughs> Listen, um, this is the difference between last season and this season with the Browns and the Lions, right? Last season, the Browns were very 
reliant on their defense. Yes, they did go through four quarterbacks last season. Yes, they did make the playoffs. Yes, they did lose to the Houston Texans in the wild card game with the fourth string quarterback in the, by the name of Joe Flacco. I get it. But that defense is what carried the Browns all season long. Now, if Deshaun Watson is a shell of himself, even a 70% Deshaun Watson from the Houston days playing in Cleveland probably gets them to the playoffs. However, the AFC is very, very stacked. The AFC is a very, very good team. And if they have to ride that defense again, I think the defense is going to flutter out again like they did in, like in the playoffs. But hopefully Deshaun Watson can come up and do a little something-something. Now the Lions. My man Jay isn't here, but he is a huge Lions fan, and he has loved what the Lions have done all offseason. He has loved what the Detroit Lions have done this offseason, signing whoever they signed. I don't even know who they signed. But the NFC is so wide open right now because we spoke about the 49ers yesterday, right, how they have to win right now or their Super Bowl window is shut. Look at the Dallas Cowboys. You On paper, they're probably one of the best teams in the NFC, but you don't win games on paper. Rest of the NFC, you, you, can, you can probably throw the Packers in there. You can maybe potentially throw the Bears in there, seeing, seeing how their offseason goes. Don't sleep on the Bucks. But the NFC is so wide open that it would not surprise me one bit if the Detroit Lions do get there. I do not think the 49ers, however, will go back to the NFC Championship game. I think they that that ship has kind of sailed a little bit, right? That ship is getting tired and wore out. They they need a lackluster year. They need a year where they get knocked out in the first round or don't make the playoffs at like at all. They need some type of reality check, right? I'm not saying they're not a good 